One-Up USA bike racks are designed to safely transport your bike on adventures across the country or everyday life. These 100% American-made racks can carry all types of bikes, from heavy e-bikes to svelte road bikes and everything in between. The racks are sold online and shipped directly to your door, ready for your next biking adventure. Each morning, orders are printed and brought to the production team for assembly and shipping. But before they can be built, raw aluminum needs to be shaped into a variety of parts that make up the rack. Off-site, raw aluminum billet arrives at the facility and is stacked and organized, ready to be extruded. These aluminum billet logs are loaded into a 7 or 8 inch press and preheated to 850 degrees Fahrenheit. The 2,000 ton press then pushes the aluminum through a series of dies to form the shape of the desired profile. As the aluminum exits the die, it's just over 1,000 degrees and will then be stretched and straightened. Each profile or shape requires different feed rates to push out the final extrusion to a precise 15 thousandths of an inch tolerances. This part will become the tray of a heavy-duty rack. After the profiles are extruded, they head over to the oven to be baked at 985 degrees. They are then aged at 350 degrees for an additional 8 hours. The extrusions are packaged and loaded onto the truck and sent to the 1UP facility in Wisconsin. The aluminum extrusions arrive and are staged, ready to be cut or machined into their final shape. Some of the extruded forms need to be cut before anodizing and assembly. Here, a support bar is being cut to size. One of the more unique machines is a robotic-controlled MIG welder. Here, a crossbar is welded to the hitch bar on a special jig that allows the robot to weld 360 degrees around the receiver for a continuous weld seam. The worker removes the welded hitch bars and uses a stainless steel wire wheel to clean off the black soot left behind by the intense arc heat and magnesium oxide produced during welding. CNC machines are used to manufacture many types of parts. Their precision cutting and drilling ensure each component fits and performs exactly as intended. First, a worker loads the raw material into the fixture. It's secured and ready to be fed into the CNC machine. Parts are manufactured to exact tolerances, requiring a variety of tools and bits to cut and drill into the material. Depending on complexity, a part can take anywhere from 5 to 90 minutes to complete. Here, a tap plate used to mount add-ons is being milled down. Material that is removed during machining is transported via chip auger and loaded into bins, ready to be recycled. Two tons of aluminum are recycled every week. Completed parts are removed from the fixtures and are ready for finishing. Small parts with rough edges are loaded into a tumbler. The parts vibrate with abrasive stones that soften the edges and prepare the parts to be anodized. Off-site, most of the parts of the rack are anodized to increase wear and corrosion resistance. This process also achieves the final color, either silver or black. The aluminum parts are placed on aluminum or titanium racks. The rack holds the parts firmly during the numerous tank immersion steps while providing an electrical conduit to the part. The process begins with cleaning, descaling, and etching to remove contaminants and prepare the surface for a consistent, uniform aluminum oxide layer to form. In sulfuric-based acid tanks, a direct current is applied to the parts, which are connected to the anode. This triggers electrolysis, causing a reaction where the aluminum surface forms an oxide layer by bonding with oxygen molecules. The parts can then be dyed any color followed by a nickel acetate seal that closes the pores and completes the process. The now anodized parts return to the 1UP facility to be assembled into final racks. Assembly begins with the trays. Each tray consists of an extruded aluminum base and bent arms that hold the bike tires. They're assembled by hand 
to ensure everything functions correctly. And each one is tested before moving on. Here, a worker applies decals and preps the hardware for the rest of the hitch assembly. The gold bar and 15 degree plate are installed, completing the hitch assembly. It's then hung on a custom rack, ready for final assembly. In the final stage, all components are brought together. The trays are bolted to the hitch assembly, and a final quality check ensures everything is properly assembled. The rack is folded, boxed, and prepared for shipping. The completed rack is loaded into a box along with a packing sheet, then staged on a conveyor for final processing. Depending on the order, extra items like locks, lights, or storage accessories are added to the box. Next, a high-speed strapping machine secures each box with a durable nylon band, adding strength and stability to ensure it arrives safely. The boxes are stacked onto pallets, ready for pickup by the delivery service. The completed rack is delivered and arrives mostly assembled, making installation onto the vehicle quick and easy. All that's left to do is load up a bike and hit the trail. And that's how it's made.